Good morning. It's Monday morning. Today we're going to look at Matthew 28, 16 through 20, the very tail end of Matthew's gospel, which says, Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you to the close of the age. This is the Great Commission. I knew a guy once who suddenly said, uh, for no apparent reason, did you know that skydiving is is forbidden in the Bible? And I said, no, I didn't know skydiving was forbidden in the Bible. Where's that? And he said, where Jesus says, lo, I am with you to the close of the age. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Um, that's the kind of jokes we used to uh, joke in college. Anyway, um, yes, I will be with you till the end of the age, Jesus says, after instructing them how to baptize and telling them to go and make disciples everywhere. So this is the Great Commission. And presumably then after that, Jesus ascends into heaven. doesn't say that in Matthew. And in fact, um, Matthew places this in Galilee on some mountain, so that's a little strange too. We're going to see Luke and Acts, which Luke wrote, have two versions of the ascension. It sort of ends with the ascension and then picks up with the ascension again for the rest of the story. And we'll see how that, um, how that happens. The ascension is liturgically, it's the Thursday before Pentecost. So if Pentecost is 50 days after the resurrection, then ascension day is, well, it may be, well, you know, what day is it? It's um, it's it's close to Pentecost because they they uh, but I thought it was forty days, so hmm, maybe it's the Thursday week before. At any rate, um, it's it's always celebrated between Easter and Pentecost, so much closer to Pentecost, and um, it's one of those days that sort of passes like any other Thursday, and we don't really notice it in Protestant traditions, though John Calvin thought that Ascension was one of the great liturgical holidays that we should remember. Pentecost, Ascension, um, Easter, and um, I think the fourth one, it wasn't Christmas. That's the odd thing for Calvin. It was uh, maybe it was the baptism of the Lord. I don't remember exactly that either. But, um, you know, it's Monday morning. I can't remember much. It's, uh, it's Calvin is, um, Calvin, Jesus ascends into heaven. And that becomes important because, you know, where is the body of Jesus? Well, it's at the right hand of the Father. Um, well, then how can we eat the body of Jesus literally when we take communion. Uh, I mean, that was one of the arguments that Calvin had was that you can't eat Jesus' body in, in the Mass because his body is in heaven. Um, you know, sometimes these people were remarkably short-sighted in terms of, of uh, symbolism and stuff. But um, at any rate, uh, that's the ascension for for today from Matthew. And and the, the important part for Matthew's gospel is, is this commission, you know, let's go and do this. Well, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to be telling people about Jesus and baptizing them, in other words, drawing them into the community and and um and and, and baptizing them. Um, but the emphasis is there on on bringing them in. And so then um, once we bring them into the community, we baptize them, they become uh, a part of us. That's what Matthew says we should be doing, not all this other stuff that we get involved in you know, doing. Um, when you look at how much of the effort that we spend in the church on stuff that's not really connected to anything Jesus did, you start to wonder, what is our problem? Um, 
but a, a lot of the stuff that we do is good stuff, and it's it, you know it's important in its own way. I'm not I'm not saying we shouldn't do it. I'm just saying that we get so involved in the in the minor league stuff that sometimes we forget the major league stuff. And here we're reminded of what the um, the really important thing is. So let's um, go out there and make disciples of all nations and teach people um, what Jesus commanded and what they're supposed to be doing. Tomorrow we'll look at Luke and Acts, or start looking at Luke and Acts. Probably take more than one day, and I hope that you have a great Monday.